I have a new video for you guys because last week we heard Britney Spears speak for the first time about her conservatorship. She told the judge that she wants to sue her entire family for doing nothing to protect her. I would assume that would include Jamie Lynn Spears, who's now finally trying to save herself on social media after pretty much getting canceled for leaving her sister in the dusk for 13 years. So let's go ahead and get into it. In today's video, we're going to go through Jamie Lynn's response to the Free Britney movement. There's been a lot going on with Jamie Lynn, and if you guys have not seen my videos, definitely go check them out. She has been called out for scamming her fans with the Zoe 101 reboot. It makes sense that Britney Spears wants to sue her entire family because Jamie Lynn Spears, her little sister, has been part of the problem. Before we get into her response to the world, her statement, aka her excuses, I do want to share that there is actually a petition going around to remove Jamie Lynn Spears from the show she works on Netflix. Jamie Lynn Spears is currently an actress on the Netflix series Sweet Magnolias and people want her to be kicked off. There is a full-blown petition out here that I will link below that is asking Netflix to remove Jamie from the series because of her lack of response to the Free Britney movement. If you guys read the petition, it literally says that Jamie Lynn Spears has been part of the disgusting, dehumanizing conservatorship of her sister. We have learned the truth and how Jamie Lynn is just as corrupt and responsible as the people who put her sister in that conservatorship. She lives off her sister's hard-earned money. Her sister doesn't even have access to her own money, but Jamie Lynn and the rest of the Spears family does. Remove Jamie Lynn immediately. Because Jamie Lynn has been getting so much backlash over this whole Free Britney movement, we have been waiting for a response, and she gave us one, and we're going to react to it together. I'll be honest with you guys, this is actually my first time watching it because I heard the news and I was like, okay, we're going to start up the computer and I'm just going to watch it with you guys live. So if you guys see my facial expressions or emotions, like I don't I don't even know what to expect from this, but I know everyone is really upset and they're not buying it. So I feel like I'm going to be feeling the same way. Um, hey, everybody. I just want to take a second to address a few things. Uh, the only reason I haven't before is because I felt like until my sister was able to speak for herself and say what she felt she needed to say publicly, that it wasn't my place and it wasn't the right thing to do. Um, but now that she's very clearly spoken and um, said what she needed to say. I feel like I can follow her lead and say what- Oh, how convenient. It's time for you to speak out after your sister has been silenced for years by your father, the father who you are like infatuated with. Like, I mean, Jamie Lynn is just literally a miniature female version of James Spears. What I feel I need to say. Um, I think it's extremely clear since the day I was born. I've only loved, adored, and supported my sister. I mean, this is my freaking big sister before any of this bull I don't care if she wants to run away to a rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere or if she wants to come back and dominate the world the way she has so many times before because I have nothing to gain or lose either way. Shh. Stop, because she's the same type who will say that she's not spending any of her sister's money, but at the same time, we have flight logs that prove that you have spent a lot of Britney's money. We'll actually talk a little bit about those at the end, but ugh. This situation does not affect me either way, because I am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness. Her happiness. I've made a very conscious choice in my life to only participate in her life as her sister, as an aunt to those boys. Maybe I- Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, pull my mic closer. Was that a fake cry? Was that like on cue? Like a fake cry? Because I feel like, wait, what was that? In her life, as her sister, as an aunt to those boys. Maybe I didn't support her the way the public would like me to with a hashtag on a public platform, but I can assure you that I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag and I'll support her long after. Note that. I mean, I've worked since I was nine years old. I've paid my own freaking bills since I was 10 years old. 
Not that I owe the public anything because my sister- I've paid my own bills since I was 10 years old. Then why are you still charging Britney's estate? She's still charging a ton of money to Britney's estate. And trust me guys, if anyone else was like doing this and was like, you know, standing up for their sibling, I'd be like, you know what? Good job. But she has done things in the past that contradicts everything she's talking about now, especially her relationship with Lou M. Taylor. But let's go ahead and get back to this. Knows I love and support her. And that's the only person I owe anything to. I'm not my family. I am my own person. I'm speaking for myself. I'm, I'm not my family. I'm my own person. Is that because she's trying to separate herself from the statement Britney made in court that Britney wants to sue her entire family, which would include Jimmy Lynn Spears, but I digress. I'm so proud of her for using her voice. I'm so proud of her for requesting new counsel, like I counsel, like I told her to do many years ago. Oh, not on a big public platform, but just in a personal conversation between two sisters. So I'm very proud that she's taken that step. Oh. I love that Jimmy Lynn was saying this for years now. And she's so proud of her. It's like, well, your sister has no right to a law, like, what? You, no right to a lawyer. What do you mean? I mean, what? You should be having conversations with your father. With your father. If ending the conservatorship, if flying to Mars or whatever the hell else she wants to do to be happy, I support that. I really wish I could trust Jamie Lynn Spears and that we could just be like, you know what? Sure, Jamie Lynn's could do everything she can for her sister, but she is truly a pathological liar. Like, I will I will tell you guys that Jamie Lynn Spears has some major, major issues because she lies compulsively. She has been going against her sister for years now, and now she's making a video just so that she can save her acting career on Netflix. I mean, let's go back to the part of the video where she's like, oh, I make my own money since I was nine, 10 years old. Like I haven't spent any of Britney's money. Let's talk about this tweet that you made a few years ago. But before we get into that, I do want to give a quick shout out to my friend, Obscure Nickelodeon. She is really awesome. She does a lot of great work on Twitter, holding people accountable, including Jamie Lynn Spears. So go follow her right now. This tweet from 2012 is definitely haunting Jamie Lynn Spears this week because she wrote, Quote, if you can't fly private, then fly Southwest. My favorite hashtag truth. Maybe the only truth she has ever told because she does like to fly Southwest. We actually have detailed flight records that show that Jamie Lynn Spears has charged Britney Spears' estate for the flights she has taken with Southwest. As you guys can see, it's definitely her favorite airline and she continues to fly it using her sister's money. That's the main problem here. She is taking money away from her sister, but at the same time, acting like she's not and acting like she's so perfect and innocent. But Jamie Lynn has her own problems because recently on my channel, we've talked about how she has scammed her subscribers out of Zoe 101. Well, we've actually figured out more information about that, like from our friend Obscure Nick. Hey there. And I want to share some of those things with you guys. So this is a post from 411 on Zoe 101. Um, you guys can't really see it at the top, but that's where I'm taking it from. So credit to them. But they posted this on their page. Apparently, Jamie's been pushing for a reboot of just her and her kid. So is Zoe 101 reboot of just her and her daughter, Maddie. First of all, Cass' reactions and obvious distancing make sense now. Jamie used them and had no intentions of actually including them. Maybe that's why we have all of these Zoe 101, you know, former stars coming forward and saying there is no reboot. We've talked about that before on my channel because there never was one, but there was one in Jamie's head for her and her daughter. Secondly, why would Maddie be on the show? Like 60% of Zoe 101 fans hate her already because Jamie got pregnant and that's why the show ended. So like putting Maddie on the show is just going to make it worse. Um, Jamie Lynn is just like her mom and her nasty father gearing up to exploit her daughter now, which I totally agree with. This is one of like Zoe 101's last fans left and they actually just said recently they no longer support her at all. So I feel like... She's losing all of her support, and there's really no way to save this. I mean, even the former cast members don't like you. Paul Butcher, who actually played Jamie's little brother on the show, actually liked a comment that said, hashtag Dana 101 as the reboot that wouldn't include Jamie at all. And honestly, I feel like Zoe 101 without Jamie would be lit, because even though I love that show, I just feel like Jamie Lynn is so toxic. 
we also had some hints that this was coming because we knew that Jamie Lynn wanted to include her daughter in the show. And Jamie Lynn's 12 year old daughter. Maddie's in the video and it was the best day of her life. She's basically best friends with all the major influencers now. Does your sister make a surprise appearance? No, she doesn't. She was busy having a nice little vacation. Maddie's a big enough star. There wasn't a lot of room to, you know, have anyone else. So that was one interview where she brought it up. And here's another interview where she's bringing it up again. Why do you want Maddie to be on the show? I don't know, but I have a feeling that she's using the old cast to help her promote the reboot and then get a reboot of just her and her daughter and cut everyone to the curb like what is that why she added like jojo siwa and all these random people to kind of like distract from it all and then when everyone's gone you know no one's questioning it i have so many questions but here is that little clip do you think maddie will get to see you for a full-fledged reboot of zoe 101 um that's the plan so you know maybe she could play you know like zoe when she was younger or something but yeah <laughs> the plan is a reboot <laughs> but it's just you know quarantine and all of this stuff so that really leaves a bad taste in my mouth, and I'm sure all of the original castmates are just so pissed at Jamie Lynn for what she did there. And honestly, I'm just mad at Jamie Lynn in general. I feel like she's just not here for her sister, and that like Instagram story post just proved it to me that she's really only worried about her own well-being, and now she's only speaking out because her sister is getting a ton of press and she's getting a lot of hate. Again, I just cannot get over how she's speaking out now because before she was like, oh, um, you know, she even like replied in a comment one time on Instagram that she wants to keep everything private for her sister. But Brittany's been very open with how she wants everything to be public. She wants it to be made public. She wants the world to know. So then why has Jamie Lynn been lying on social media telling everyone, oh, everything's doing all right. Everything's fine. When in fact, Brittany doesn't want this private. Your conservatorship team team, you know, James Spears, they want it to be private. And Jamie was an enabler in it. And she honestly was part of the team keeping her sister in this conservatorship. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a PL box package to open for you guys. And it looks like it's from um, Barnes and Noble. So let's see who it's actually from. You guys may or may not know that I love books so much. So I'm really hyped Ooh, for this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, let, let's see what's going on. I hope there's a note. Hopefully there's like a note here. Oh my gosh, it looks like there is. Okay. Hi Sloan, I'm Jessica Holt, author of Flora the Prairie Dog. I just want to let you know that your work is inspirational and embodies a message that we all need to hear. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you so much, Jessica. I really appreciate that. And I'm guessing this is probably her book, which I'm so excited for. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to make a kid's book, guys. Like, this is actually one of my goals for next year is to make a kid's book, which sounds like, I mean, it doesn't have to be all for kids, you know, but just the idea. I love these books. Like, so sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Jessica. Oh, I love this. And I love have a, having, like, a variety of books. Like, this is so cute if I ever have, like, you know, a little cousin or something over so sweet and it looks like just such a cute idea thank you so much i love this um it's i love like how this one like wearing this outfit here like what is going on anyways so cute thank you so much jessica i will leave a link to this book below and until next time guys i will see you in a new video soon bye guys mm -hmm.